Meanwhile, Oliver was coming along Duck's branch line too, but he didn't see any signal warning him to stop or slow down. Luckily, nobody was hurt, but James was very cross. Oliver, why didn't you look where you were going? There was a yellow signal back there. I didn't see any signal. Um, please, can I get out of the water now? Rocky started to lift Duck back out of the water again, and Oliver started to back up so that his driver could put up a warning flag. But then there was more trouble. <laughs> By this time, Harold had seen what was going on, and he flew back to fetch Sir Topham Hat. At last, Rocky managed to lift Duck out of the water. Thank you, Rocky. You're welcome, Duck. So many accidents. How could this have happened on my railway? I'm very sorry, sir, but it must be my fault. I must have knocked down the signal pole. My crane arm wasn't secured, and I was swinging about. It was nobody's fault. It was an accident. I was in a hurry to go, and Rocky wasn't ready, so... So... Oh, actually, sir, I suppose it was my fault. I didn't give Rocky time to secure his crane arm properly. That's why he was swinging about. I can't say that I am very happy about this, James, but I am proud of you for admitting what you have done. Perhaps it would be best if you made amends by pulling Duck's cars while his firebox dries out. Yes, sir, I'd be happy to. Pulling cars may not be his favorite job, and James knows that he can't always do the jobs he likes best. But so long as the sun is shining, he is a very splendid-looking bright red engine indeed. But I'm looking for a very special one. I thought you might be able to spot it from up there. All right, then. What does it look like? Bill and Ben said that it's red and orange and, well, all the colors of the rainbow. I've seen a lot of cars, Timothy, but I've never even heard of a car like that. <laughs> I have. You have? Hi, matey. <laughs> Ta-da! What did I tell you? All the colors of the rainbow. But that's just an old waste car full of smelly old garbage. Do you think Bill and Ben have played a trick on me, Salty? Aye, Timothy, I'd say so. But I've been running around all over the island and this car does look just like the one they were asking for. Ah, and so that's the car they're going to get, whether they likes it or not. <laughs> Ah, you show him, Timothy! Whoa! What's that stinky smell? I don't know. It smells like rotten fish. Or worse than that, it smells like... Dockyard waste! Timothy! Hey, Bill. Hi, Ben. Oh, you found that car you were looking for? That's not the car. There is no such car. But it's red and orange, yellow and green, blue and indigo and violet, just like you said. We made it up. <laughs> it was a joke. Shh, Ben, look who's coming. So it's true. 
Salty told me you sent Timothy steaming around the island on a fool's errand. Oh! Yes. Sorry, sir. You have caused confusion and delay. And for that, I'm putting you on waste collection duty. <laughs> oh! And you can start by taking this car of dockyard waste to the dump where it belongs. Oh, no! <laughs> Come on, Bill! Hurry up! It's all right for you! I've got to pull this whiffy car! And you! Well, it's all right for you! I'm getting covered in stinky garbage! <laughs> Ooh, it's a bit pongy. You mean you are? Did you just call me pongy? Yes, I did. You're pongy. No, you are. No, you are. You are. You are. You are. Sleep on the siding. When something woke her up, she thought she could hear an engine passing along the line. But when she looked, she didn't see an engine at all. <gasps> she saw a dinosaur. It's impossible! It's a, it's a dream! It's a dream! Eek! No! Go away, dinosaurs! Go away, dream! Oh! I didn't think that would actually work. <laughs> The next morning, Marion was very sleepy as she went back to her digging. Hello, Marion. Oh! Oh, Thomas! Oh, you surprised me. <laughs> oh, sorry, Marion. I didn't mean to sneak up right in front of you again. No, Thomas, it's not your fault. I had a bad dream last night. I woke up and saw dinosaurs, real live dinosaurs, moving along the track, right here. Dinosaurs? But dinosaurs aren't around anymore. I know. Dinosaurs lived a very, very long time ago, millions of years, before railways or people or digging was even invented. <laughs> That's right, Marion. It must have been a bad dream. <laughs> A little while later, Marion heard another engine coming along. This time she looked to see who it was, but instead she saw... Dinosaurs? Wake up, Marion, wake up. Wakey, wakey. Come on now, wake up. You're dreaming again. No, you're not dreaming. And call Millie, get some steam on. Call the urn, call the urn. The big delivery is here. That doesn't look like the big delivery. Help! Help! Dinosaurs are chasing after me. Hey, that can't be right. There aren't any dinosaurs around anymore. <laughs> 